Aretha Franklin History Aretha Franklin was an American singer, songwriter, pianist, and civil rights activist. Born in Memphis, Tennessee in 1942, Franklin was raised in Detroit, Michigan, where she began singing in her father's church. She was heavily influenced by gospel music and R.B. and began recording her own music in the late 1950s. In 1967, Franklin signed with Atlantic Records and released her hit single Respect, which became an anthem for the civil rights movement. Throughout her career, Franklin had numerous hit songs, including Chain of Fools, Think, Spanish Harlem, Until You Come Back to Me That's What I'm Gonna Do, and Freeway of Love. She also won 18 Grammy Awards and became the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1987. In addition to her musical achievements, Franklin was known for her activism and support of the civil rights movement. She performed at numerous benefits and fundraisers for the movement and was a close friend of Martin Luther King Jr. Franklin also sang at several presidential inaugurations, including those of Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama. Franklin passed away in 2018 at the age of 76, leaving behind a legacy as one of the greatest singers and cultural icons of all time. Franklin was the daughter of a prominent Baptist minister and civil rights activist, C.L. Franklin, and grew up in a household that hosted many famous musicians, including Mahalia Jackson and Clara Ward. Franklin signed with Columbia Records in the early 1960s but struggled to find success with the label. She eventually left Columbia and signed with Atlantic Records, where she worked with producer Jerry Wexler to create her signature sound that blended gospel, R.B., and soul. In addition to her singing career, Franklin was also an accomplished pianist and songwriter. She wrote many of her own songs, including Daydreaming, Call Me, and Ain't No Way. Franklin's career spanned more than five decades during which she sold over 75 million records worldwide. She also performed at numerous concerts and events, including the inaugurations of Presidents Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama. Franklin was known for her powerful voice and ability to infuse emotion into her performances. She was often referred to as the Queen of Soul and was widely regarded as one of the greatest singers of all time. Franklin was a trailblazer for women and African Americans in the music industry, and she inspired countless musicians and fans around the world. She received many honors during her lifetime, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the National Medal of Arts. Franklin's hit song Respect was actually a cover of a song originally recorded by Otis Redding. Franklin's version became a feminist and civil rights anthem, with its powerful message of demanding respect. Franklin's father, C.L. Franklin, was a prominent civil rights activist who marched with Martin Luther King Jr. and hosted events for the movement. He was also a well-known preacher and pastor in Detroit. Franklin was married twice and had four children. Her first child, Clarence, was born when she was just 14 years old. Her second child, Edward, was born when she was 16. Franklin's younger sister, Carolyn, was also a talented singer and songwriter. She co-wrote several of Franklin's hit songs, including Ain't No Way, and had her own hit song with Angel. In addition to her music career and activism, Franklin was also an accomplished actress. She appeared in several films, including The Blues Brothers and Jumpin' Jack Flash. Franklin battled with various health issues throughout her life, including weight gain, alcoholism, and pancreatic cancer. She passed away on August 16, 2018, at the age of 76. Her funeral was a star-studded event, with performances from Stevie Wonder, Jennifer Hudson, and Ariana Grande, among others. Franklin's voice was so powerful that she was able to sing the highest note on a piano without amplification. She was known for her incredible range and ability to hit high notes effortlessly. Franklin's father, C.L. Franklin was shot twice during a home invasion in 1979 and remained in a coma until his death in 1984. The incident was one of the reasons that Franklin became involved in advocating for victims of violent crime. Franklin was inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame in 2012 for her contributions to the genre.
she began her career singing gospel music in her father's church and continued to incorporate gospel themes and styles into her music throughout her career. Franklin was awarded the Pulitzer Prize Special Citation in 2019, making her the first individual woman to receive the honor. The citation was awarded for her indelible contribution to American music and culture for more than five decades. Franklin's iconic hat, a gray felt cloche adorned with a large bow, became a cultural phenomenon after she wore it to President Barack Obama's first inauguration in 2009. The hat was later sold at auction for 4250 with the proceeds going to charity.